guys, how's it going? My name is Lindsay Bushman and this is Pilates On Demand. Today we are gonna hit a lower abs class. We're gonna attack this lower section of the core. It's not gonna be too much planking, but we are gonna start on our hands. You can always keep the knees down if it's too much for you. We're just gonna talk about something called a pelvic tilt. We're going to be doing the posterior tilt of the pelvis today, so that's scooping the hips up towards the ribs, and that's how we're gonna really get those low abs to activate and contract. So let's learn it in this position, and then we're gonna use it in all of our lower body reverse crunches today. So come on to all fours. We have the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees right underneath those hips. I want you to stick your butt up to the sky, so you're angling those tailbone, that tailbone, those sits bones up to the sky. Now tuck your hips up towards your chest and round out your low back. Lift your belly. So let's do that again. Arch your low back, send your hips to the sky. Create that curve in the low back. And then scoop and tuck. Draw the belly in. Now let's do one more. I just want you to notice as I'm doing this, nothing is affecting my chest or my head, unless I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm just moving my lower half of my torso. Let's add a little bit more thought to this. So you're gonna inhale as your tailbone arches. Exhale, squeeze your glutes. Contract your abs, lift your belly, and round out that low spine. Tighten those glutes, guys. And then inhale, release your glutes, and arch through that low back. One more here, we're gonna add the knees. Exhale, curl up, tuck the glutes. Pull your, the front of your hips up towards your chest, and then inhale back to neutral. So that's the basics of a reverse curl. Tuck your toes, hover your knees, now I want you to do this with your knees hovering. Your knees are just barely off the mat. We're not coming up into a full plank. So you're sending your tailbone up, inhale, and then curl the front of the hips up towards your chest, exhale. Inhale, coming into that neutral spine and breathe out. <sighs> Lift those abs. Okay, this should start to build that heat here right into pretty much everything, right? Your quads, your arms, your abs. So we're just warming that body up for this deep abdominal work. I want you to put your mind in the work. So really try to focus, turn the TV off, try to let your kids be occupied with the iPad for a minute. Just draw that tailbone through the inner thighs to your belly bone and contract. Now still with those knees hovering, I'm keeping that upper back still. So no movement from the chest. It's not a total cat cow like in yoga. It's just the lower half of that. Okay, we're gonna take four more slow. This is the warm up for four. And back to neutral. For three. Try not to let those knees move up and down very much. And two. Final one. Scoop it through. Set the knees down. Walk yourself into an extended plank. So you're on your knees, your hips are leaning to the ground. Here is intermediate beginner option. Otherwise, you're going to take those arms out overhead. So we're in a long extended plank. Rotate your elbows to the floor, drop those shoulders down. Back to that posterior tilt of the pelvis. Curl your hips up and then slightly angle your tailbone back. Tuck the hip bones and pull them up towards your chest. This should start to make you shake and then release that contraction from the low belly. Breathe out, breathe in. So I want you to think about the lowest part of your core and imagine when you're trying to put on or zip up a really tight pair of pants, you know how you suck your abs in like crazy? That's what I want you to do here. I want you to find that sucking in from those low abs kind of contraction and hold on to it. <sighs> what we're trying to hit is the deepest layer of the abdominal wall. It's called the transverse abdominals. So it's not the rectus abdominals, you know, the abdominals that you can really see. This is the deep layer, what really tries to pull the abs in. <sighs> That's gonna help get rid of kind of like that pooch we get in our low belly. Okay, last one here. I want you to hold the tuck. Hold on to it. Make yourself shake. Lengthen those arms a little further out. We're gonna hold on to it. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, pull that core in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your hands in. We're coming to take a seat. So that was a warm up. So you guys kind of get the idea of the tuck and untuck of the hips. We're gonna be doing that a lot. So learn to love it. Okay, let's start on our forearms. Want those forearms narrow, so elbows underneath your shoulders. I see that a lot. Bring those elbows in. We're in a neutral spine. I have a little arch in my low back. Lift your legs to tabletop and bolt them together. Legs are only moving because the hips are gonna move. So your chest is tall. I'm gonna tuck my hips, firming my low back towards the ground, and then I'm going to let that release, tailbone into the floor. Tuck, release. So this shouldn't be quick at all. Keep it slow and think about the movement. You can cue some inner thighs and pelvic floor here too. That's always very helpful. To find those inner thighs, simply press your legs into each other. Okay, the thing we're not doing is this. So that would be the legs moving. Look at my hips and that's what's creating that reverse curl, that lower body contraction. Now try to stay really still and lifted in your chest. There is definitely a tendency here to want to start to sag. Don't let that chest drop down. Keep it lifted. Okay, we're going to pick the tempo up just a little bit. I want to really hear that breath out on the lift up. Are you shaking? My abs are already trembling. They're like, you're making me work really hard. <laughs> Good, let's do five more for five. And four, keep that tummy tight. Three, two, you're gonna hold your legs up in tabletop and give me little tucks. Curl in and in, move your hips and your abs deeper and deeper into that contraction. Think of the front of those hip bones narrowing and drawing towards each other. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, you got it. 3, 2, 1. Okay, lay flat down on your back. Legs are in tabletop again. So no space between your back ribs and your low back. Now the legs will move. We're dipping the toes down and then breathing out and lifting them up. If your low back or your mid back lifts off the floor, you need to shrink the range of motion. So that means that you're just gonna be honest with yourself right here. Cause we came to work and get results. If your back is popping up off the floor and it looks like this, we're not gonna be really getting the abs to work for us today. So stamp that back down, don't let it move and then the legs will just go as far as you can without letting it pop up. Good job. Now keep the collarbone open and do your best to keep tension out of the neck. If your neck feels strained and looks like this, absolutely put a pillow, roll your mat up, place that underneath your head. These moves are for all levels. You know, you add more sets, more reps, as you get stronger, you make the range of motion a little bit bigger, and then you do the opposite if you're trying to just get into learning this ab work. Okay, we're gonna be here for five. Find that inner thigh connection. Push those knees and ankle bones together. Good, like someone is standing on the front of your belly. Don't let, let it pop out. Last two. And one more. I'm gonna send the legs straight up to the ceiling. Okay, flex your feet, heels up, little lifts of your tailbone. Legs are going straight up and down. Think of a straw going into a cup. It goes straight down. It doesn't go towards your face. The legs, not the straw. <laughs> Good. Now as your hips go up, Tighten your abs, like we're talking about how we're zipping up the really tight pair of pants. Pull them in. It's not enough to just do the movement. You have to think about it and contract from that area 
to get those abs to work for you. Any hip flexor pain, bend the knees. Let's hear that breath. <sighs> Try to keep the front of the shoulders open, not letting them round in. Okay, we're gonna pick the pace up here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. That's it, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees to tabletop. We got a reverse curl. So no arch of the back, press the spine flat. You're gonna roll your knees up and then roll down. The other thing I don't wanna see is kicking your feet out. So you're lifting your hips up from your abs. You're picking those hips up from the low core. I'm really using my arms here to help me. Breathe out. Breathe in. Now think you have a ball between your heels and your butt and squeeze that ball in. Kind of like we do with our bridge poses in Pilates. You know, you try to contract the hamstrings. Think of that position. Or in rolling like a ball. You don't want to throw the feet away from you. Nice job, guys. When my spine rolls down, there is still no space between my back and the mat once it's come back down. So I'm not rolling all the way to an arch. I'm still in that posterior tilt, which is gonna help me keep the lower abs in that contraction. Good, give me five more. Five, four, nice job. Three, no arch in that low back. Two, one, good work. Legs to the ceiling, you're gonna angle your toes and knees to the right. So we're on the diagonal, we're back to those little hip lifts, straight up and down. This is gonna hit a little bit of the left oblique, but we are definitely still focusing on the low abs. Breathe out as you lift. I'm doing my best to relax my throat here. I have to often remind myself about that and that is okay. Good, belly button tightly drawn in. We're just gonna pick it up here. 10, nine, little quicker. Eight, seven, six, that's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees and angle your kneecaps to the front or the back right corner of the room, I guess, towards your right shoulder. Pull those heels in, you're gonna now do the reverse curl to the right shoulder. Roll it up, roll it down. And we come down, it's with such great control that we never roll to a natural curve in the back. We keep the front of the pelvis curling up to the ribs. Good job, guys. Okay, let's hit a couple more. And then we're gonna hit that other oblique. Four, three, two, one. Okay, legs up, feet flex, rotate your toes and knees to the left wall. We're gonna lift up through this right oblique and our low abs. As you breathe out, the abdominals should contract in. Good, let's pick it up. Squeeze the inner thighs together. 10, nine, eight, seven. Lift and lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees over to the left shoulder. Angle to the left wall. Heels in close. Roll it up. Roll it down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Breathing really important with the abs. Being careful not to roll in to the curve. And once you see what I'm doing, please just look up to the sky. Keep that neck in a nice neutral alignment. That's it, four more, here we go. Four, three, two, 
One. Good work. We're taking those legs straight up to the ceiling. You're gonna reach your arms overhead. If that is too much, because it's doubling your challenge the abs, then just bring the arms back by your sides. Okay, arms are going overhead. Now, when you do that, your mid back's gonna wanna pop up. I need you to contract your abdominals and push your back flat. So look at the difference. This is me just chilling, hanging out. This is me pressing my rib cage down and tucking my pelvis. Reach your arms long overhead as you pull your shoulders down. You're gonna inhale, lower your legs down to your lowest point, and then exhale, lift back up. How do you know your lowest point? Your back has not left the floor. So that could mean it's here, and then you lift. That can mean you're here, and you lift and lower. Okay, or you're more advanced and you're able to keep contact with your spine and your mat. You take it down and up. But one thing I see from very flexible people, it's easy for them to keep their legs straight, but they tend to be, maybe you're flexible, they, you tend to be kind of um, loosey-goosey. So try to kind of reel it and work through the strength rather than the flexibility. So we're keeping our head down for today. This is all lower abs, baby. I mean, trust me, the top of your abs are working too, but our target, our focus, is the low core. For this one, I'm inhaling down. I'm reaching long at the bottom through my fingertips and my toes, but I'm corseting my waist into the mat, and I'm exhale, rising back up. That's it, let's find two more here. Okay, here's our last one. You're gonna take those legs all the way down to the lowest point, and we're gonna hold. Isometric hold. You're at your lowest point that your back does not leave. If that changes, you lift the legs up a little higher. Now you might notice if you go too low, you actually can't feel the work anymore. You've just kind of lost it. So lift your legs up a hair so that you're able to really feel that you have to work to press your belly into your low back. Stretch through your fingertips, pull the rib cage down. We're here 10, eight, six, four, three, two, exhale, lift up one. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna have a little swimming here. So arms and legs are up, shoulders retract down, no space, flatten that back into the mat. Inhale, elongate, take it to that lowest point. Arms will stay long overhead, and then let's kick, kick, kick through those legs. Now, what should not be moving is your pelvis. So if you're kicking, and your hips are swimming around, the wrong part of that body is swimming. So I need you to stabilize and control. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up, hug the knees in. Good work, guys. How are those low abs doing? Awesome, okay, one more like this. So arms are gonna go overhead, legs are long, we're stamping that rib cage down so it hasn't left the ground. If you're really tight in your lats, that may mean you need to just bring your arms right here so you're able to keep that space down. Let's turn our legs out, lower them to our lowest point, find that rib cage connection, and we're gonna crisscross the legs. Squeeze the inner thighs. We're in that posterior tilt of the pelvis. Squeeze the bum. Good, let me go for 10. Good, and eight. Six, five, four, focus. Three, two, one, one, and bend it in. Hug it in. Okay, you're to your grand finale. So rock it up. Let's really get those low abs to talk. Coming onto your forearms. Okay, you're gonna bring your legs to a diamond. Toes and heels touch. I got a nice big diamond in between my legs. Open your chest up, and we're into our pelvic tilt. So you're gonna go into neutral, tailbone and angling to the floor, and then tuck the hips to you. Neutral, tuck. Okay, my chest is positioned, and now not moving. My legs are moving only because my pelvis is. Breathing out. Breathing in. <sighs> 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 
rounding out the lumbar spine, the low back. You're taking it from the normal shape of your spine and creating a C, an arch, a crescent moon out of it. <sighs> Push your heels and your toes into each other actively. Seal that energy into the body. Pull your navel in. Don't let your stomach puff out. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go full range. Toes go down, pull the knees back over the hips. Toes down, pull up, good work. Inhale, exhale. Good, drawing your belly button up towards your chin. Give me four like this for four. And three. We're gonna hold it at the top. Two. Last one, legs are up at the top. You're gonna give me quick tucks of the pelvis. In and in, contracting those lower abdominals. They should be shaking. Here we go, breathe out. Push the feet into each other. Broaden that collarbone. Try to think of that low back tucking towards the floor. Good, we're going 10, nine, Eight, seven, contract those abs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Very nice. Okay, let's hit a butterfly. Stretch out those inner thighs. Bottoms of the feet to come together. Loosen up those hip flexors. Grab your toes and drop your nose to your knees. You can always take your elbows inside of the knees and kind of spread them wide and apart. Give me a couple big breaths in here. This should not only feel good on the hip flexors and inner thighs, but also the low back. We had it in that really rounded out shape, yeah? So I'm gonna stretch it out. Okay, come to your belly. Let's stretch out that core. Legs are gonna go as wide as the mat. Turn your toes and knees out. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows into the sides. Inhale yourself up. Drop your shoulders down. Try not to pop those elbows. Keep a little bend in them and roll it to the mat. We're gonna take four more. Inhale, roll it up, breathe in. Stretch out those abs. Exhale, roll it down, breathe out. Inhale, we're up. Exhale, melt it down. And last two. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, roll it down. And last one. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, melt it down. Good, bring your toes and knees apart. Let's take a child's pose. Always nice to do after core work. Walk your arms so far overhead that they are lifted. Fingertips gripping the ground and then Reach your tailbone in the opposite direction. So think of your hands re watching, walking overhead and your hips reaching back behind you. Take two big breaths here into your back. Think of creating space with those inhales and releasing tension with those exhales. And as you're exhaling, roll up through your spine. Meet me back in a cross-legged position. I want to take a twist here, just so we kind of even everything out. Left hand to that right knee. Right hand's going to come behind the back, or if you're more flexible, right hand can come and grab the inside of that left hip. And we're twisting ourselves, relaxing our shoulders. Good, release. Right hand, left knee. Left hand either on the floor behind you, or it's reaching behind your back and grabbing for the inside of your hip. And then we're pulling ourselves into that twist. Maybe you get a nice crack. Relax those shoulders down. And release. Awesome job, guys. How are those abs feeling? Mine are feeling tight. <laughs> like everything is kind of been strapped in. But I guess that's good. 
So please let me know how your core is feeling, how strong you feel after this, and what your favorite move was. My name's Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. I love working out with you. Please like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys on the next workout. Bye.